Everything else will be on YouTube. Awesome. Yes, sir. Yeah, Chris. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. It's not my first report I've to wear. Huh? It's not your first rodeo? Awesome, dude. Looks good. So it will look just like this, cleaned out before we re-insulate and everything. So you know, at least 90, 99% of everything will be out of yeah, there. I got the funds up. Insulating. I'll forgive you, man. He's, he's hurting back there. Yeah, this is this is a job. We knew we were, you know, we knew we'd be running into a mess. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. We didn't know we had all this stuff down here though. Yeah. I thought there was just sticky tiles put down on top of this, but they put glue on down and glued it all down. Hey, darn it. It's not well, gonna be. This is going away. It's getting rid of it. So we have several layers to deal with here, which we can deal with. We have uh, the regular floor underneath. Look at this stuff. They put glue on down, but what's going on under it? Look at that. So if you put a brand new floor in your house on top of this stuff and you just cut out a little piece of it, like a lot of people say in my videos, why are you taking out the whole floor? Why don't you just cut out a little section? Because when you cut out a little section and the rest of the floor goes bad again, what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to tear up the floor again to fix it. Why don't you just fix the whole floor at one time? Look at this. Look at that. Take that man out of it. Look at that. Look at that, man. That's ridiculous. Yeah, so you got a brand new floor, glue on down, new tile, everything. Can you see the tiles on that? Lift that up again. Look what's under that damn thing. Look at that. Look at that. So why would you want to put a brand new floor on top of that? You don't. So they did all the repairs they thought they needed to do and went ahead and put new Lawan down on the floor and put new BCT tile. And it got wet again, obviously from the dryer, because that's the other side of the dryer thing. It got wet again and then the floor deteriorates. And then what do you gotta do? You gotta tear up all your BCT tile, tear up your um, Lawan, do your floor again and start over. Instead of, they should have just tore the whole floor out all at one time and been done with it. The whole floor, not just a piece of it, been done with it, then put the loo on down, then put the BCT, dot, t, t, uh, BCT, whatever that tile is, and been done with it. That's not what they chose to do. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that ain't so isn't that something? Look at this. Check it out. So they came in this house. That is just amazing. They came in this house... And like people tell me, why well, you're wasting their money tearing up their whole floor? You know how many people have told me that, group? What? I did the whole floor in place. I said, why are you tearing out the whole floor? Why don't you just do that little piece and put it back? Yeah. See that right there? Answer. There's your answer. They did a little piece, and they put brand new floor down on top of this thing. And I'm sure that wasn't like that after they fixed their piece. And then they had another leak. And then after their next leak, this is what you got to do to fix it. So if you don't want to go through all of this, then do it the first time, the whole entire floor. And you won't have to go through it again. Because this floor has already been done. And they fixed it. Uh, they fixed it, did what they thought they had to do, and this is what you got at the end. So, <laughs> yeah. Yes, so I've got the clean yes, Now you got to tear it all up again. So don't tear it up twice. Do the whole floor side to side and be done with it. Don't do a little section here, a little section there, a little section over here. This room here had like five, six sections that had been done, two by two, two by four, four by four, and then they put a new floor covering on this thing, and then we come back and tear it all out again because it got wet again. So if you don't do wall to wall, that's what you might end up with having to come back and refix. And that is a nightmare. So, do you do one little piece in front of the window? Or you do the whole floor? You got your choice. But if you don't do the whole floor and you have another leak, that's what you're going to have. Period. All right. So, I had to stop here for a moment. My uh, camera was full. Leaked some crap. Matthew is bringing in the insulation. Thank you, Matthew. Okay. And uh, I got to run face for this job. I haven't trapped moisture in the ground in the floor here. This is insulation. This is R19. This is for floors and walls. Okay. 
Okay. Doors and walls. And uh, we're gonna uh, fill it in, fill it in, fill it in, fill in the bottom. We're just gonna load this thing up with insulation. We're gonna wrap this pipe right here. What we do is cut pieces and then just wrap them around, wrap them around, wrap them around. If we have to throw a piece of tape on it, we will. This is where I was showing you hole in the floor. This may be nice, a little smaller hole in the floor. Definitely not a raccoon. Over here, more likely a raccoon. I mean, there were some big items under here. Cans, lobster tails, all kinds of uh, things that don't belong under the mobile home. that pipe. We are wrapping that thing. You see what we did? We wrapped that thing. Now that it's wrapped like that, that condensation from that cold air getting into this underneath of this warm floor is not going to cause us problems. So you don't have to do where the vents are. But we'll do that tomorrow. We're going to be rebuilding the vents right there. Sealing them, making yeah, sure they're airtight, all that kind of stuff. We're going underneath that wall with a... We're going underneath... I was talking on the camera. We're going underneath that wall with a piece of plywood. Underneath this wall with a piece of plywood. Look at that. They, they replaced this whole entire floor. Luon, tile, everything. And just because of some moisture coming around this vent. And now we actually know why. Because I can put my finger up inside of there. Yeah, I can pick. That's not taped. There's no tape, no nothing. So these things are not very efficient the way they did it. But that's all right. That's why I'm back here now doing this the right way the first time. See, OSB, four feet wide, all the way across. You can't buy anything over eight foot nowadays. All right. The floor joist is right back there, right here. Yeah. Back. So there's nothing over here then. Uh-uh. That's not good. That there's just plywood there. God damn it. But that, that's, that's where you walk after you cut start taking it out There's nothing to do but to do it so it's not that big a deal sure you're gonna pull and it's a little bit of back work <coughs> but uh it's not, it's not it's not undoable that's the thing it's not undoable it's doable Just to show you, since we have both of them here, Chris, right? Yeah. Check it out, because we got both here. This is the old OSB from back in the day. This is what everybody thinks of when they think of OSB. Uh -huh. Okay, That's what they think of, is this. This is old school. Show them the new school OSB. Yeah, new school. See the difference? See the difference? This is like sawdust. This is like actual chips of wood, and this is put together, the new stuff, with waterproof glue, okay? So this is actually a fairly good product as a, compared to the OSB. So, but still, everybody has in their mind the OSB is this. And today, it's... If you notice, on some of your walls, you're going to notice that there's nothing under it. Nothing. So they build a wall straight on top of a piece of plywood. Because this is the floor joist under this piece. Nothing under that wall. So we're going to want our plywood to go under that wall when we're done with it. The first thing I did was make sure there was nothing under there that I could cut. And then I ran a sawzall right down that wall, all the way down. Just don't go deep with it. And then after you do that, you scrape the rest of this stuff off. Pull the nail, scrape it right off. That fine tool will take you forever going down a place like that, Billy. If you know nothing's down there, hit it with your saws off, brother, okay? If you know, if you're not sure, hit it with your spine tool, because that saws all eat something up, like cords and 
copper tubing. You do not want to hit that kind of stuff. That's going to cost you a lot of work. So, sawzall, if you can get it in there, and then start taking it all out. We will be putting plywood under that wall. Give me this here, Bill. All right, so we're into this room here. These vents pretty much are a nightmare. You can see the way they put them together. And you can also see that they didn't tape it or anything, so all them holes right there are blowing air under your house. All the way around it. And that's the way it was. We haven't done anything to it. So we're going to have to fix that with duct tape or something to close up them holes. So we're wrapping this thing up first, and then we insulate underneath it, all around it. And uh, we want to keep that. I want to keep that air right there, in there, so not right here. Lunch! Let's eat! All right, guys. Look here. There we go. See there? Brand new insulation. This is R19. Unfaced. Fits in there really nice. Two rows. We're going to do the same thing over here. Two rows. And then we're going to fill this bottom up with uh, insulation on the bottom. And... A lot of people think that this insulation is supposed to hang off the bottom of these floor joists. That is not actually the case. You want R19 in the floor, and if you can't put R19 on three and a half inches. Um, so, it actually laid down there at the bottom, just like we took it out. And uh, let me see if you can see it. Well, that's, that is actually, that's insulated floor, and that's the insulation that lays. It lays down there and inside there. So, you don't have to get it up under your, under your floor joists. There's actually no way to do that unless you run a string line or something underneath this whole thing to keep it up. But then again, you got R19 with the six, six inches of insulation and a three and a half inch floor joist. So you cannot put floor insulation six inch in between three and a half inches. It has to breathe. All right, back for day two. This is what I was talking about as far as insulating that trunk line. Wrap it up. If you enclose that trunk line, That'll keep that cold air inside of there until it comes out your vent. Without covering it, the heat under your house and the cold coming from this vent, especially where they didn't close in their um, vents with tape, they should have taped that all up so it wasn't blowing air under the house. So between all that, this thing was sweating like crazy. And 90% um, of the damage on this house right here was because of the sweating from this thing here. When that happens, that happens. Now that came from the washer. That came from the window. They'd already done a repair here in front of the window before. And then they put a brand new floor down here and then guess what? The window leaked again. So then they had to tear up the whole floor all over again. That's why I tell people in my videos, if you have a hole in your floor um, where it has to be patched like that, go ahead and do the whole floor so that it doesn't happen again someday and you have to end up coming back and doing this again. So, uh, obviously you had leaks over here too in front of these windows after he'd done his floor. Uh, because of it, that's what you're going to get. This is awesome, guys. Hope you enjoy my videos. I really enjoy making them. This is what we like to do. So if you like doing something, you'll be good at it. And if you're good at it, people will appreciate it. And so I have a lot of people that appreciate the fact that we do quality work for all my homeowners. Mm -hmm. So far, somebody has already came in here and did this floor. So they did, actually they tore it out too, so might not have any issues back here. <clears throat> yes. So this is going to be great when we're done. It's really going to be sweet. We still have a long ways to go. Today is going to be a great day. If you like my videos, please hit the like button. It helps me out a bunch. And subscribe to my channel. So you get to see some of this stuff going on. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.